Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Maloof of Eyes and Faces in Sydney and welcome to my plastic surgical video log on orbital decompression surgery. This surgery is typically used for the disfigurement of Graves' eye disease where the eyeball becomes bulging, bulges forward, or there is a big stare or double vision. To understand this, let's first have a look at the orbit. The orbit is a bony structure and on this scale we can see we can see the bony structure, the round ring here, and a triangular pyramidal cavity called the orbital cavity. There are two of them, both sides separated by the nose. The orbital cavity houses the soft tissue, the nerves, the muscle, and the eyeball. There's also soft tissue around it. In Graves' eye disease, there's a lot of thickening of this soft tissue, but the orbit is bone. It's rigid, it can't move. So the soft tissue bulges forward, the eye comes forward, and when severe, the eyeball is compressed and blindness can ensue. Graves' eye disease is a terrible disfiguring disease. How do we fix it? Well, we want to push the eyeball back into place. We can do that by taking away some of that soft tissue, but that would cause double vision or potentially blindness. Instead, the bony structure inside the cavity, this structure here, the lining, the walls of the orbit can be removed. And what we do by doing that is to enlarge the orbit. We use the space inside the nose, the sinus space, to enlarge the cavity and everything falls back into place. That is orbital decompression surgery. The good news is this surgery can be done through the nose. That means keyhole surgery, minimal pain, rapid recovery. Even better, stereotactic guidance is available. This is GPS for surgery, providing millimeter accuracy so that this bone here, bone at the bottom or bone at the other side, can all be removed with millimetre precision, minimising the potential for damage and maximising the outcome of surgery. That's called stereotactically guided endoscopic keyhole orbital decompression surgery. I'm Dr Anthony Maloof and I hope this has been of assistance to you to understand orbital decompression surgery. Be sure to have a look at some of my other plastic surgical video logs and thank you for watching.